guys, this is me, Gwen Lee, and this is my Makeup Forever Avant Garde look for um, the Makeup Forever contest that's going on until I think October 13th. And also, as promised, this is my very first Halloween tutorial. Um, I guess you can call it uh, Miss Bling Bling, Chick Bling Bling. I'm doing the very first my very first Halloween look. So I went a little crazy, so if you want to see how I did this, keep watching. So, I'm going to be starting out with a concealer from Cover FX and a primer from NARS to use as my base, and I'm just mixing that and I'm going to apply it with a beauty blender. And I'm going to apply it all over my face. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted a really a really sheer coverage. Next, I'm applying primer, and it's a white primer. And I'm using my e.l.f. Cosmetic 100 Palette Eyeshadow Kit. My focus colors are brown, black, and a soft pearl white. I'm using the brown as a base for my whole eyelid. And then I'm going to go in with the black to really smoke up the look. I want to smoky cat eye so that's why I'm I'm doing it in stages I'm gonna use the brown first and then I'm gonna use the black and as you can see I'm applying the black on my lid and then I'm gonna go up towards my crease because I want it to be as smoky and as dark as possible for this specific look everything needs to be dark 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 black next I'm taking my black eyeliner cream eyeliner and I'm going to basically just shape out uh, my eye. Next I'm using the con Cover FX concealer which is the poor, this is a this technique is a poor girl's um, poor girl's technique of how to cover sparse hairs for your brows. You use concealer under your brow bone and then over your brows and then you blend it in. I use my beauty blender. Next, I'm using an eyeliner as a eyebrow filler, and I'm going to fill in my brows and make them nice and thick because I want this look for my eyes to be extremely dark and my brows to be extremely filled in and thick and dark. Next, I am using a blush, and it's not a heavy blush. I just need a little bit of color uh, to my cheeks, and I'm going to be using the pearl white now right under my brow area to highlight uh, my brows. So as you can see, I'm doing that right now. I'm going back in with a black eyeliner and I'm going to line my waterline because I want the look, once again, to be extremely dark. And I'm also gonna use that in my crease to shape my eye. And as you can see, I'm shaping it. So it's gonna look very sharp and shaped. Next, I'm going to be applying the little pearl diamonds blings, the sparkly uh, bedazzlement and um, I'm gonna be doing it in a specific triangle like style so um, I believe it was six it was uh, three rows and uh, for each column I did uh, one less so the first column was six the next column is five, four, and so on. Now, um, as I, the kit that I bought with the little diamonds was from Packetans, um, which is a craft store, and they were like ninety-five cents or something like that. And um, they weren't, they didn't have any adhesive to it, so I just used my lash glue to uh, stick the pearls or the diamonds, whatever you want to call them, to my face. And um, I actually had, from a previous uh, craft that I did, I had uh, actually the adhesive little um, jewels. So um, I used my lash glue to apply the jewels to the bottom area of my face. And then I'm going to use the adhesive jewels for the top area of my face. And I really wanted... Uh, this look to be very radial out in your like just out there crazy looking um, 
jewelry. In a way, if you think about it, it looks like I'm crying. My tears, I have uh, diamond tears, which is really cool. Uh, sorry about that, guys. My uh, voiceover stopped working for some reason. Well, back to the video. As you can tell right now, I am attaching the self-adhesive uh, jewels to my upper area. And I wanted to put a little bit on my eyelid. And then I wanted to carry it up a little bit. So you can just, you know, there's nothing wrong with the adhesives. You can just stick them on and they'll be fine. Um, I wanted to give my lips a really nice dark value. So I used black. Uh, it would just help the... Um, the diamonds stick out more and I try to do some type of color block um, with my um, my chin area but it just looked really weird um, at first when I put the black with just at first when I just put a uh, black eye gel cream it was basically like an eyeliner that I used and um, I wanted to do like a nice color block but it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to um, but I just stayed with it anyways, and I'm using a very um, pearl color eyeshadow. And what actually happens is when you use a really dark color, and then you take one of those pearl um, kind of illuminescent shades, eyeshadow shades, it actually changes the color, the deep color that you use. So in my case, I used black, and then I used... Um, like uh, pearl green and purple and it gave a really beautiful color just for some reason it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to um, so I didn't really focus on that too much I actually took it off after I decided to apply some jewels to my lips and I wanted them to be a little bit different um, one of the reasons being is because I ran out of silver um, so I decided to use green and the green jewels that I used were actually smaller than the silver ones. And I got these jewels from Michaels. And they were like $1.99 or something like that. But once again, using my lash glue, I attached them to my lips. And, you know, if you apply lash glue to your skin, um, other than just lashes, nothing's going to happen. Um, I mean, I didn't break out or anything or got any kind of weird... Uh, sensitivity to my skin um, it just comes right off so you don't have to worry about you know ripping your skin or anything like that now I wouldn't do it if um, if I have like broken skin but that's it hey guys so this is the finishing product of um, the makeup forever contest for the avant-garde contest that they're having um, if you don't know about it go to Facebook and find out all about it at a Make a Favor Facebook page, they have a contest going on, and so this is going to be my entry. And oddly enough, this will also be my very first uh, Halloween look. So I don't know what to call this uh, bling bling, chick bling bling. I guess I'm gonna say. So um, as you can see. I did tons and tons of bling. I also have green bling on my lips. And I was attached with false lash glue. Um, one thing that I tried to do is like a nice color block here on the side. But it didn't really come out the way that I wanted it to. But it's nice and subtle. I have a lot of bling going on, so this is this is enough for me. Um, this is my new front lace wig, and I'm trying to figure out what I should nickname her. So, if you guys have any, um, you know, any names that you think would be great, let me know. Sign it, write it at the bottom. Also, um, you guys can hit me up at, at Twitter. I'm on Twitter now, and um, it was a long time coming but I'm on Twitter now so you can hit me up on Twitter at um the at sign B Gwynley or um hit me up on Facebook facebook.com forward slash Gwyn's world uh G W N S world uh yeah so hit me up and 
comment, subscribe to my page, let me know what you think about my very first Halloween uh, look slash avant-garde Makeup Forever con contest look.